In this video help, I'm going to be covering the payment portal screen and then the payment where it is actually located on the invoice. Let's go ahead and go to that screen. The portal is the individual records in the rows of the portal for payment on the sales screen. When you're using this uh, particular screen, it's usually because you need to delete a record or edit it on the individual row. Let's go into the sales screen. In sales, you'll see the payment tab on this screen. When you've completed your invoice and you're ready to take payment, you would use this tab. This was explained in the sales screen as how to use this particular tab. Now, the only thing I want to cover uh, in this screen is that if you do have uh, a balance where you have to come back and edit or and or you're going to have multiple payments, that's the one thing I did not cover. If you allow multiple payments, uh, you can go ahead and add a second row to the portal, put the date, the amount that's due, which is the balance, if there is a balance amount due, would be in this particular uh, field. So for example, if you put in 169.23 as the amount due, and they only paid $50, then the balance due would be left in this particular field here. What you would do is then come down and enter this amount into the uh, amount due, and then complete the payment. And you can do this as many times as you want. If, say if it's time-based payments where they're paying a number of different payments, you can have those in here in this area. If you have any questions about how to do this, uh, give me a, a contact at the tech support site by clicking on this icon. Thank you.